What's up guys, how y'all doing today? So today I'm gonna talk about relationships here in Colombia, especially the beginning of relationships. When you start talking to someone, you actually officially ask them to be your, your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Here in Colombia, that's actually a thing. You officially ask someone, do you wanna be my girlfriend? It's almost like back in the States, back in junior high, when you would write the letter, hey, would you be my girlfriend? Here in Colombia, you do that too. You say, do you want to be my girlfriend? Until then, you're pretty much friends with benefits if you guys are doing something, you know, at the time. But it, when, you, when you say that, do you want to be my girlfriend or do you want to be my boyfriend? From that point, from that moment, it becomes serious. And if the person is really interested in you and interested in having a relationship with you, what's gonna happen is they're gonna want you to meet their parents very soon. It's not like back in the States. What I remember dating back in the States when I was younger, I think it was like you meet the parents maybe a month or two months or three months after you guys have been talking and dating and all that kind of stuff. And I don't remember, I remember, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I haven't lived in the States in many years, but it used to be, you don't have ask, do you wanna be my girlfriend? Especially when you get older, past high school and stuff, it just, happens you're, you're kissing you're going out and now you just know your girlfriend boyfriend right let me know in the comments if i'm wrong i might be wrong but here once it becomes official they're actually going to want you to meet their parents within a week maybe max two weeks all right they're already ta thinking about that and the reason why 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 does that happen because here in colombia and also in other parts of latin america i'm pretty sure in many parts of latin america Family is super important. Getting the okay from the family, getting the approval from the mom and dad is, I would say, more important than the relationship itself. The reason is because it's such a family culture that if, for example, you go meet the parents and the mom doesn't like you, majority of the time, you don't even have a chance for a relationship with that person, that Colombian. Because if you can't get along with the parents, there's gonna be problems in the relationship. Because here in Latin America, family get-togethers, family outings, they, they make up any excuse to get together, anything, any reason, the whole family gets together. I'm not talking about the mom and dad and the siblings, no, the aunts, the uncles, the cousins, they're always getting together for food, for barbecue, just to meet up, they do it. So if you don't get along with the parents, most Colombians are just like, well, what's the point? What's the point of even trying? So that's why they try to get it as soon as possible because why waste time i think their mentality works is why waste time in a relationship and then like after a month or two months the person goes meets the parents and the mom doesn't like them now you wasted two months of your life on a person that's not going to work with the family that's how they think so if you guys are in a relationship with someone and you haven't met the parents and it's already been a month or two months and they, the person the Colombian has never even mentioned about you go meeting the parents yeah, you might you might want to worry. You might want to think, maybe this person's not really into me. Okay, <laughs> if you're if you're on the side where you are serious about the relationship, and you're like, wow, this person is great. I want to have a long term relationship with this person. But that Colombian person has not said, let's go meet my parents, and it's already past months. Mm, something to think about. Something to think about. But here's some advice to what to do when you go meet the parents. Okay, what's going to happen is your girlfriend or boyfriend say, hey, the, my parents invited you for, over for dinner. Okay, that's usually what happens, or for lunch or whatever, for lunch. When you go, make sure you dress nice. Don't dress super fancy. Wear nice clean jeans, a nice shirt or a t-shirt. I would say a collared shirt, a nice collared shirt and nice shoes, clean tennis shoes, nice tennis shoes. Don't go in shorts, don't go in sandals, don't go dirty. Here in Colombia, hygiene is super important. So smell good. Not wear a nice perfume or cologne, shower. If you wear a beard, trim up your beard. If you don't, make sure you're cleanly shaved. Make sure you got a haircut. Look good, because here in Colombia, the appearance is very important, okay? They're gonna judge you by your appearance and also by your smell, all right, smell good, okay? And then when you go to the house, and here in Colombia and the culture here, people don't take off their shoes to enter the house, so don't take off your shoes. The parents may look at you like, well, what's wrong with this dude why is, or this girl? Why is she taking off her shoes? Don't take off your shoes, you just walk in. Of course, you wipe your shoes off, walk in the house. And what's gonna happen is the mom is gonna offer you something to drink. Receive it. She's gonna offer you some juice or water, whatever it is that she prepared specifically for you, especially the juice. She, she prepared thinking about you, so receive the juice, drink it. 
And when you go, before you go to the house, don't go empty handed. You don't have to show up with a bouquet of flowers, nothing like that, but bring a gift. Bring something that you're going to give to the mother, la suegra, okay? And the reason why, one, main reason, out of the two people in, the, in this, in this get-together, the father and the mother, you want to win the mother. You want to win la suegra, okay? So bring a gift to her. Or, if it's just a gift in general, bring a gift that everybody can share. But you want to give it. You want to give the gift to her. You want to hand it to her. I brought this for us to share, and you hand it to La Suegra. And when you, the kind of gift you want to buy is, for example, food. You want to buy something that they can. Everybody can kind of share. For example, go to if you're here in Medellin, go to La Migueria, which is a bakery, a very nice bakery here in Medellin, and get pan de queso, cheese bread. They sell this cheese bread. It's round. Get that. Most everybody, most everybody here in Medellin, Colombians love la migueria and they love cheese bread so we go get cheese bread if you're lactose intolerant and you can't eat cheese bread and you want to share get chocolate bread okay pan de chocolate they also love it here too but you can't go wrong with the cheese bread if you can eat it and when you go you hand the gift to the mother she's gonna oh thank you so much now you you won points right away you won points man you're, you're doing good you're dressed nice you smell good you're freshly cleaned up you know you gave the gift to the mother, everybody can share. Because here, another part of the culture in Colombia, it's a sharing culture. When you go out and you, you see a group of Colombians together, and one person, I've seen this before, one person takes out a banana, and it was a group of four people. I literally saw that person take the banana, break it up in four pieces, and share the banana with all four people. It's a sharing culture. So now, you gave the gift to the mother, able to share with the family <laughs> oh man you're you're making you're gaining points now boy so the other thing they're going to ask you a bunch of questions they're going to ask you what you do and be yourself don't try to put on a mask don't try to be a different person be who you are but be polite be cordial all the manners you learn growing up use those manners all that kind of stuff but they're going to ask you questions answer honestly and when you guys sit down to eat and they're going to offer you food receive Take everything that they offer. Hey, do you want this? Receive it, eat it, thank you so much. Be grateful, okay? And it's not gonna be a one hour event. You're not gonna go eat lunch and then after lunch head out. No, it's an all day event. So you're gonna go eat lunch, you're gonna have the lunch, you're gonna receive that and then probably you're gonna watch a, a movie or play a board game or sit down and talk or maybe they're gonna pull out the album and show the album. Just be prepared, be prepared. So for an all-day event, drink a cup of coffee or a couple of espressos before you go so you have energy at last. And then at the end of the day, you might watch a movie together, you know, the thing. If they like you, man, it's, you're, you're basically spending the whole day there. That's the first test of when you start a relationship, getting, through the, getting the approval of the parents. And then what's going to happen next is, like I said before in the video, the family, and I'm not talking about siblings, uncles, aunts, grandparents, nephews nieces everybody all they always find an excuse to get together and they usually get together at the grandma's house or the grandparents house right so whenever the next get together happens they're going to use that as an excuse to invite you your partner is going to say hey you know speaking to me hey david uh, my family's getting together for whatever excuse that they put together uh, they come let's come to my family event that's going to be within maybe a, a week or so after you met the parents. <laughs> and now you're, you're gonna get the approval from the family. Be prepared for the uncle. There's always gonna be that one crazy uncle that's just super happy, energetic, especially here in Colombia. They're very personal here. They're gonna, the uncles will come up to you and start asking you a bunch of questions about your life, what you do. I remember I got interrogated, it happens to most everybody. Answer the questions politely. You're gonna meet everybody. They're gonna talk to you and kind of see who you are they're gonna measure you they're gonna measure you see who is our niece or nephew or granddaughter or grandson you know dating right now and then that's again an all-day event you're gonna go they're gonna be there's gonna be food you receive everything uh bring something again bring something that can be shared you can repeat the pan pan de queso the cheese bread you can repeat the chocolate bread or you can buy something else maybe a bunch of uh Bunuelos or empanadas, buy a big old bag of empanadas, whatever. Best bet, the best thing you can do is ask your Colombian partner. 
Hey, to your Colombian partner, ask your Colombian partner, what should I bring? What, you suggest, what do you suggest for me to bring as a gift? And your Colombian partner is going to give you some ideas. All right, just do that. Do that. And when you show up, dress nice. Everything that all the advice they gave you to meet the parents, do the exact thing, same thing for the family. It's going to be an all day event. And if you pass that, if you pass that approval process in the family and everybody approves you, you're good. You've made it. Now the relationship can really start. But again, I repeat, be yourself. Don't put on a mask. Don't try to be someone else. Don't try to impress too much by being who you are not because the mask always comes off. You can't keep up a facade forever, but you can be yourself forever. So be yourself. And if they don't accept you, if they have a problem against you, if they have a problem against the type of work you do, the whatever, whatever they have a problem with, then that's it. And it's better it's better to know in the beginning than be in a relationship for three months, six months, and then have that problem come up. Actually, I agree with the Colombian way of doing things. It's better to get it out of the way the first week or the second week because there's many relationships where the family makes problems in the relationship or, or whatever it may be, and that could have been avoided, right? So there you go, guys. That's my, my tips on starting a relationship here in Colombia, what to expect and how you should go about it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys have any any experience with the relationships here in Colombia, especially with the family, with the parents, how did it go with you? All the information I gave in the video, what do you think? Was, was I correct? Was I wrong? Let me know in the comments. Anyways, see you on the next video. Ciao, ciao.